Today, we're going to drain and refill the hydraulic fluid in your Gilson testing screen. The Gilson testing screens are rugged, tough machines that will provide years of service if installed and maintained correctly. The Gilson testing screens with hydraulic clamping use a quick-acting hydraulic pump system to clamp and release the screen trays within the unit. It is important to check and maintain the hydraulic system of your Gilson testing screen. Upon checking, if the hydraulic fluid is not clean, you will need to drain and refill the hydraulic fluid. To drain and refill the hydraulic oil in your Gilson testing screen, you first disconnect the unit from its power source. Now release the hydraulic pump system pressure by pulling the pump handle all the way towards the front of the machine. Now, remove the pump handle grip. Next, remove the top and side covers to the machine and safely set them aside. Note the short load line to the electronic controller. Rest the side cover aside to avoid placing stress on the load line. It is important to examine the interior of the unit while you have it open. Check for leaked hydraulic fluid, excessively worn parts, and loose or damaged drive belts. Return the pump handle grip to the pump handle. Next, clean the interior of the unit as to prevent foreign materials from falling into the pump and contaminating the oil later. Now, disconnect the hose from one of the hydraulic cylinders, leaving the other end of the hose connected to the pump. Place the free end of the hose into a clean container at a level that will allow gravity to empty the system of hydraulic oil. Pump the handle slowly to drain hydraulic oil from the system. Now, we're going to take the pump cover off the pump to refill the system. Observe the hydraulic pump and the position of the pump cover. The bottom of the vent in the pump cover has a bevel that must face the front of the machine. Use a marker or other means to mark the front end of the pump cover to ensure correct orientation during reassembly later. Now, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the pump cover assembly including cover, gasket, and screws and safely set them aside to a clean area. If there is sludge in the bottom of the pump oil reservoir, remove the pump from the machine and clean it out with solvent before refilling with oil. Or, if repairs are to be made to the pump, continue disassembly as described in your operating manual's hydraulic pump section. For this demonstration, we are only draining and replacing the hydraulic oil and not removing the pump nor repairing the pump. Now reconnect the hose to the cylinder. Fill the pump reservoir with hydraulic fluid to within a quarter inch from the top. Once you have confirmed the hydraulic oil is a quarter inch from the top of the oil reservoir, reinstall the pump cover assembly in the same orientation as it was before its removal. Pump up the pressure on the hydraulic system with short strokes on the pump handle. Now, release the pressure by moving the handle all the way towards the front of the machine. Next, remove the pump cover and add more hydraulic oil, if necessary, to fill the pump reservoir to within a quarter inch from the top. Reinstall the pump cover assembly in the same orientation as it was before its removal. Now, we're going to bleed the air out of the hydraulic system. Loosen the connections between the hoses and the cylinders by unscrewing the swivel connections slightly. Pump the hydraulic system until the oil appears at the loosened connections. Now, retighten the swivel connections. Once tightened, pump the hydraulic system to confirm that all the fittings are free of leaks. If the fittings leak, use hydraulic joint compound to create a seal between each leaky fitting and the pump or cylinder to which it is attached. Now, remove the pump handle grip 
and then reinstall the top and side covers and the pump handle grip. For any questions on the hydraulic system of your testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.